Using Excel 2003 Setup If you haven't already installed Excel 2003, now is the time to do so. First, please review the tutorials on minimum system requirements, as well as some recommendations before you install, to be sure that your system is ready for successful installation. Now, place your Excel 2003 Setup installation CD into your CD or DVD drive. Depending on how your system is configured, once you've installed the Setup CD, the installation CD may launch automatically, or you may need to go to the Windows Start button, select My Computer, then locate the letter of the drive, double-click on it, and then Setup will automatically launch. You'll see it's about to tell you that it's copying necessary files. Now that it's preparing to install, and now that it's preparing the installation wizard. Now in this particular installation we're installing Microsoft Office Professional Edition 2003 which in includes Excel 2003. If you're just installing an Excel 2003 standalone then you would just see the Excel 2003 installation wizard appear here. Have your product key ready. Your product key should either be on the back of your CD disk case for your Excel 2003 installation or it should be printed on a label somewhere in your Excel 2003 package. Here, because product keys are meant to be confidential and private, I'm not going to show you the exact product key we're about to type in here, but you need to be sure that when you type yours in, that you type it in exactly as it appears on your label. Your letters will be uppercase and your numbers should appear exactly as presented. It'll be an alphanumeric 25 character key that you type in. Once you've typed in the product key, the next button here, which is temporarily grayed out, will appear. For example, we're going to start typing in the product key, and you see that it automatically moves to the next cell to type in the rest, and the next button's available. In a moment, I'll take you through the rest of the installation. Now that we've entered the product key, you'll see the information window. Type in your username, your initials, and the name of the organization, if any, then click Next. Now you'll be prompted to specify what type of installation you want. A typical installation will install most but not all files. A complete installation will install everything from the Excel 2003 CD. And a custom installation allows you to make certain choices about what will be installed. You also have the option of specifying a different drive location down here. Here we're just going to proceed with a typical installation and click Next. Now because this is an Office 2003 complete installation, you'll notice that all the applications are listed here. If you're installing Excel 2003 standalone, you should just see a notation for Excel. It'll tell you the space required on the drive that you've specified as well as the space available on the drive you've specified. Now click Install. The Installation Progress window comes up. As the installation starts to go move along, you'll see a meter appear here which will kind of guide you to how far along in the process you are. And it'll also tell you the current action, which right now is preparing to install. If at any time you need to cancel the installation, just click the Cancel button. Since this installation will take several minutes and that's longer than the time our tutorial has, I'm going to close out now and tell you that we're going to move on to how to troubleshoot an Excel 2003 installation if everything doesn't go exactly as planned.